what's happening guys welcome to RTH Tech TV this is Redmi Note 4 and uh, today let's see part 2 of the 50 plus tips and tricks video and uh, if you haven't watched part 1 I would suggest you to do that uh, I'll leave the links in the description box below or at the end of this video you can watch it later on as well and uh, guys if you're well versed with MIUI features I wouldn't suggest you to watch this video till the end you can go ahead and watch my other videos but uh, if you want to know about MIUI and its features definitely watch this video till the end and also make sure to watch the part one as well all right guys so let's quickly start with the tips and tricks now the first thing which i'm going to let you know is uh, how to change this uh, you know notification tray on the quick toggles layout so it's actually in the combined style now uh, much like samsung devices but uh, if you don't like this and uh, want something which was earlier on miui that is separated style you can do that as well for that you'll have to go to settings and you'll have to go to notifications and status bar and uh, the first option that is notifications and uh, toggles layout go there and uh, select the separate one now you can see that uh, the notifications are separated from the quick toggles so if you want this uh, style definitely you can do that so i actually like the combined one so let me just uh, keep it to uh, the combined one right and uh, next thing is uh, you can also change the positions of these uh, quick toggles so for that you'll have to hit more and once you hit more you can place them wherever you feel comfortable so if you feel that uh, mobile data should be on the second position and the torch should be on the third position well you can do that now if we check that as you can see mobile data is on the second position and the torch is on the third position so it's quite easy guys you can uh, try this out all right guys now let's see a feature called promoted applications so for that you'll have to go to a folder and click on uh, the name of the folder and it will give you an option to enable or disable so if you enable this one and let's see what happens you can see that uh, you'll have promoted applications uh, in, in that folder so if you want you can directly go ahead and install this one so this option is available it's pretty good you can try that out it's uh, you know accessible across all the folders even uh, in the in the Google folder you can enable that one as you can see if you go to Google you'll have uh, promoted applications and if you want you can go ahead and install them so let me just uh, turn off this promoted applications and uh, if you go to multitasking tray you can actually you know uh, choose to have uh, the small icons if you want to so pinch in and if you want the bigger icons you can pinch out and uh, you also have a shortcut on the top right corner so if you click on that uh, you know you can convert them into uh, small icons or big icons so this is also a pretty handy feature so you can choose according to your uh, style all right and the next thing is calculate applications which is uh, very dynamic let's go to that so you can see that on the left top corner we have a button so let's click on that and you can see that it can not only act as a calculator but it acts as a currency converter so let's check uh, the current currency so let's put it on to one dollar so one dollar is equal to 65 rupees 76 pesa right so quite accurate so it's updated on 15th march as you can see 2017 so let me just uh, you know uh, uh, move back to this menu and here you can also change you know check for length you can it, it acts as length converter it acts as uh, you know volume converter temperature converter so on and so forth there are like a uh, lot many things which you can do so definitely check this feature as well All right and the next thing we have is a scanner application so if you want to scan some documents definitely you can do that using this uh, scan application so you can scan qr codes and this is an inbuilt application guys you don't have to install anything so you can uh, you know uh, scan for qr codes uh, you can actually scan for business cards so if you want to save uh, some business cards you can do that you can also scan for documents so it's uh, pretty smart it works quite good i've tested that so you can go ahead and uh, test this as well and the next thing is guys uh, theme store and uh, what it can do All right so let's go to theme store and uh, those were the offline themes which i had downloaded so in the theme store you can not only change the look and feel of the device rather you can also you know add ringtones which is a good thing i believe so you can download them and then use them and uh, one good thing is uh, you can also change the fonts so think that if i have to change to this font so it will give us a, the preview of how it looks as you can see it looks pretty cool you can change the complete uh, look and feel of the device as you can see uh, the you know the keyboard uh, the messaging application calling application uh, you know the icons everything gets changed that's a good thing if you want you can definitely try that out but i believe the number of fonts that are available are quite less uh, xiaomi should add uh, some more fonts i guess right so you can change themes as you want 
and uh, you can also change ringtones as I mentioned you can also change fonts if you want to and next thing which I'm going to show you is uh, how to change the text size so you can do that uh, by going to display and here you have text size so you can actually you know convert uh, up to double XL so that's a good thing so let me just put it onto Excel as you can see if you put it on double XL it will be very large I believe but if you still want uh, the big icons what you can do is uh, you can actually go to um, you know additional settings you can go to accessibility and then you can you know turn on magnification gestures and I'll quickly show you what happens so you can triple tap on the home screen you can see that uh, uh, screen gets magnified so using two fingers you can move in the same screen and using the single finger you can move uh, across the screens and you can also pinch in or pinch out uh, to adjust the uh, amount of zoom that is available so it's a good thing so to get back to normal mode what you can do is you can triple tap and you will get back to the normal mode so let's quickly turn it off as uh, of now all right guys now let me tell you something very interesting so if you have headphones of this kind uh, which has uh, you know volume buttons then you can actually capture pictures using these uh, headphones i'll quickly demo that for you so let me just uh, connect these headphones let me just open the camera and uh, you can actually see that um, using these volume buttons i can quickly capture the images so if you want to take selfies and uh, if you don't want your hand to be displayed you can keep it at a distance and use these headphones smartly to take some good selfies right so it works perfectly fine you can try this out as well and uh, these are me capsule uh, in your headphones so i have actually reviewed on my channel so you can find it on my channel if possible I'll leave the links in the description box below as well all right and under camera itself we have something called as uh, straighten so try this feature also guys so using this feature no matter how you hold the phone you'll always capture uh, good pictures that is uh, you know uh, the pictures which are in the landscape or in the portrait mode so that's a good thing as you can see I captured this by tilting the phone but also I had a good landscape picture so you can try this so as you can see this is a portrait picture all right guys there are some important things uh, regarding notifications which I want to mention so let's go to settings let's go to notification and status bar and uh, here you can see that uh, we have called uh, something called as show notification icons so once you enable this one you can see that uh, all the notifications will be shown on the status bar so you make sure to enable this one it is pretty helpful and you can also enable uh, show connection speed so by this you'll get an idea of uh, how good the connection be through be it 4g or be it wi-fi uh, is on your phone and uh, also under uh, notifications itself notification status bar itself you can also enable uh, battery indicator so currently it's on a percentage as you can see so you can also have the stop bar which is very good as you can see I'm not sure if my camera is able to capture you have that green bar on the top uh, which indicates uh, the amount of battery which is left or else you can go with um, you know uh, graphical so actually this doesn't show percentage but I would actually prefer to go with the percentage because it shows graphical and percentage as well all right guys under notifications and status bar itself we have something called as app notifications which is very important I'll just take a minute and explain that for you so you can control uh, the notifications you get uh, for respective applications so for example let's go to Amazon application and if you feel that uh, Amazon notifications are important than others then you can set it to priority and you can also you know uh, allow the uh, lock screen notifications if you want to and if you want you can also allow the floating notifications so definitely check this out and use it to your convenience so if you feel that uh, among the installed applications if you need this uh, features to be enabled definitely try this out it will be helpful All right and uh, next thing is permissions so for that let's go to security application and uh, let's go to permissions so this is also very important guys so this actually lets you uh, you know uh, select like what applications can access uh, your camera your microphone so for example let's go to camera and here if you feel that uh, you know uh, this Google Play services shouldn't access your camera application then definitely disable this one uh, in the similar way if there are any third-party applications which you feel shouldn't access your camera application you can disable it from here itself similarly you can control uh, like what applications can access your contacts what applications can access your microphone so on and so forth not only that if you go to other permissions and uh, it actually gives you you know allows you to uh, 
look at the permissions based on the applications. So for example, Amazon shopping application has four permissions. That is, um, it, it, it can be shown on the lock screen. It can start in the background. So if you want, you can disable it from here itself, right? And if you go to permissions, uh, then uh, these will be like, uh, which can be showed on the lock screen. So there are 47 applications which I have enabled, which can be showed on the lock screen. Similarly, you can control like, uh, so if you feel that Asphalt 8 shouldn't get notifications on the lock screen, then you can disable this from here itself. So under security application itself, let's go to battery. And here you can actually, you know, turn on the battery saver. So if you turn on the battery saver, you can see that uh, uh, on the battery indicator, you have an orange icon. So that uh, says that uh, the battery saver is on. And if you want, you can also schedule, uh, you know, the, at what time the battery saver should turn on automatically or turn off. So under battery itself on the right top corner, we have settings. So let's go to that. And uh, we have something called as heat notifications. So it will notify you, uh, you know, uh, once the temperature of the phone crosses 45 degrees, or if you feel it, it should notify you when it crosses 40 degrees, you can actually enable that one. And uh, this is very helpful, guys. I'll uh, just reiterate uh, one thing which happened to me, like um, around 1 p.m., like a couple of days ago, I had kept this phone on the table on this black acrylic sheet, and I have a window on the left side. So the sunlight directly comes onto this table. And I was busy with some of the work, and uh, I noticed that, uh, the you know temperature had gone like 48 to 49 degrees uh, and uh, actually it notified me saying that uh, the temperature has gone to that so you know uh, turn off the phone uh, disable the um, sim cards so on and so forth it gave me like uh, four to five things which i had to do that's a very good thing i believe so try out this feature make sure that uh, it's enabled at around 42 or 45 degrees or if you choose not to have this one you can also turn it off but uh, according to me it's a very helpful feature try and turn it on and keep it at uh, some particular temperature All right also you can uh, turn off the mobile data when the device is locked you can clear the cache when uh, device is locked so on and so forth you can actually uh, you know try out many things you also have scheduled power on and off which i had uh, mentioned in my uh, part one video and you can also access battery indicator from here itself so definitely uh, try this out and not only that guys uh, but uh, under security application itself if you go to data usage then you can actually control like uh, what applications can use your Wi-Fi and what applications can use your 4G. So let's take an example. Uh, if you feel that Amazon application shouldn't use your 4G connection, then you can disable that one. You can see it gave a notification saying that Amazon shopping can't use mobile data. So in this way, you can control like what applications can access your Wi-Fi, what applications can access your 4G. So definitely this is helpful. See like for example if you're installing Asphalt 8 or if you're playing Asphalt 8 and uh, you want it to you know update or play uh, when the Wi-Fi is on then definitely you can choose to have that. Right and the next important thing is lock screen message. Now, a lot of people don't care about this thing but it's very helpful guys. Now um, these days like uh, we all use fingerprint sensor or some kind of security uh, you know uh, to, uh, with our phones so it's uh, very necessary that if in case the phone gets lost then um, and if there is uh, some good person who wants to return the phone it's uh, it becomes our responsibility that uh, we you know provide some link where uh, they can uh, you know contact us so for that what you'll have to do is you'll have to go to lock screen and password lock screen message and uh, type in the owner information so for example you can type in your alternate email id or alternate phone number when uh, if the other person is good and if your phone is lost he there, there are chances that he might contact you so let me just uh, you know tell you like uh, let me just type in something so that i can show the demo for you so let's type in hi so if you see on the lock screen now you can uh, see that uh, hi is being written on the left top corner so if you type in some meaningful information like uh, alternate email id or uh, you know alternate phone number it will definitely be helpful so definitely make sure that you enter that uh, lock screen message now this phone also has call recording feature and it actually allows you to record all the calls or only from certain numbers so that's a good thing i believe and guys if you ask me which is the best browser to use i would suggest you use opera mini because it saves uh, data and also uh, on top of that it has inbuilt uh, you know night mode so this device has a night mode but if in case you have to use that only in that application you can actually use that feature and this phone actually allows you to take screenshot long screenshot but it does not have inbuilt uh, screen recording application. And for that, I would actually, you know, like to suggest you AZ screen recorder, which I personally tend to use and works 
perfectly fine. So that's it guys. If you feel this video was informative, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and family. Follow us on Twitter at RGHTechTV. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Most importantly, thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon.